hello, hello. Está lloviendo, me cago en Dios. Venga, rapidito. This is New York guy, New Jersey. Is this is this weather all the time? Come on. <laughs> A ver. Yeah, but we didn't come ¿Estamos? here for that. I know, I know, I'm sorry. It's supposed to be nice here in Spain, you know? I know. I don't talk about white beer shorts and flip flops on. Okay, so for the beat. I think the interview... It's fun. I think the interview already started, oh, okay. but oh. let's maybe try to make it a little bit more serious. <laughs> so I'm Jaime here from evilwarnings.com and we're based in LA, but uh, things of up? destiny... Because I'm I'm from Leon, like an hour from here. I thought you said LA. LA, I live in LA. California? Yeah, California, yeah. Yeah. That's a full long here for the show. That's a huh? long way to go for you, a show you here. here for the show? <laughs> uh, kind of, no. I'm gonna get married in July. To a Spanish woman here? No, to a woman from California. Oh, I was oh. Say, cause you oh, just said don't Spanish marry guy. the women. Uh huh. Here. So, oh, so you wanted to get a girl that wasn't going to beat you up. <laughs> I treat you like a puppy. Basically, because I'm I'm I'm, I'm short, so I'm, I'm not very strong. So I need I need something more tender for me. I I, I can't deal with the Spanish girls. <laughs> too too rough. <laughs> so <laughs> bring them. Anyway, in case you didn't notice, we are here with Kyle and John from Incantation. If you don't know who the fuck these guys are, you need to do your homework and your research because you are, I don't know where you are. Fucking poser. Anyway, yeah, fucking poser, exactly. <laughs> and we're here in Palencia, in Spain, and uh, this is the 10th anniversary of Brutologos, which I've never really heard of them, but they have had so many amazing bands playing here. These gourds from San Diego, Inquisition. <laughs> No, it's because I live in LA, so that's that, that, that's that's the problem. <laughs> but anyway, I, I really want to uh, give a lot of like heads up to these guys because to um, thank you for bringing Incantation here because this show is going to be like a private rehearsal. <laughs> I think basically it's not going to be a show. So anyway, oh, it's a show. Yeah, it's a show. First of all, it's I a, no, actually, huh? it's probably going to be another sold-out show on this tour. Uh huh. Maybe. So, how, how many how many sold-out sh shows so far? Three so far. My, hopefully, this will be number yeah, four. Yeah, number four. Number four. Okay. It may only be twenty people fit in there, but fuck, sold out, sold out, right? Sold out, sold out. Okay, to make you, I, to make you a little bit happier, I brought a little present for you. Oh shit! Spanish woman in a bag. No. <laughs> so I brought a little. Uh, a bottle of wine, oh. and this this comes from uh, my friend in León. He has a, a lentil company called Legumbres Luengo, and they okay. and they make like lentils, garbanzos, all kinds of stuff. But lentils. they also make wine. Lentils like a noodle. No, like the um, like the little kind of bean-looking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, beans. Lentils, yeah. 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 yeah it's okay. a little one. We have a soup or something. So ah, anyway, this yeah. is from oh, cool. from his own private right. thingy. So it's I hope crazy. you I hope you enjoy it. Is it good stuff? Yeah. Good. Are you getting rid of the cheap stuff? No, yeah. no, no, no. There's no <laughs> cheap. In so, Spain, there's so no off, cheap stuff. Off camera, is it any good? It's very good. <laughs> you very already good. opened it. No, no. <laughs> I hope it's not. <laughs> So anyway, it's half full. Let, half empty. Depends how you look at it. let's see because between the excitement of the show and these guys that keep taking the piss out of me, I don't know if I can continue with this interview. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So the first oh, question of thought is just every time I think about death metal, for me I think about incantation. I'm not an old cat. I'm 33. But Incantation was one of the first bands that I really kind of got into at the time. So, what do you think about what do you think about that? You think that the band is uh, it's maybe one of the purest forms of death metal out there? We're definitely death metal. Uh huh. <laughs> There's no denying that. But the, I think you guys kept like not the formula. I don't I don't like to say formula, but yeah, the, just the, one of the creators. You know what I mean? Oh, we that have, style we have our style day. of it's like traditional death metal, yeah. but it's also untraditional at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's very um, a lot of personality in it of us mm -hmm. in the music, but also very 
straightforward and in your face, uh-huh. brutal, but also abstract and a lot of feeling. Mm-hmm. So I'd say, um, I don't know, but it's definitely death metal for sure. We're yeah. proud of the death metal. Yeah, uh-huh. I figure, I mean, it's this guy's vision 25 years ago, you know, coming out of a more thrash band. Yeah, they just playing, and they just wanted to take it to the next level, and that's what was real popular at that time was you know all, all the thrash. And, yeah, uh, I wanted to do something that was just yeah. total, like being total an death. asshole, telling everybody to fuck <laughs> off. And yeah. We want to do the heaviest thing possible, mm-hmm. make it dark, evil, you know, real, a real vibe, you know. Yeah. The um, kind of like our my saying from the very beginning of the band was. It's not the um, notes that are in the riff, or how many notes are in the riff. It's the feeling that you get when you hear the, the riff and you hear the, the music. It's about the way it's played, the, way, the feeling you get from it. It doesn't matter what you're actually doing. It's you know, it's more all on the vibe. The vibe's good, that it makes you know the music good. If there's if the music, if it's sterile, it sucks. You know, for us, we need to have it. We need to get that vibe going. Yeah, because that, that that's exactly what I think right now about like like a lot of metal it's basically so modern it's so fast it's yeah, just yeah. you lose the feeling you don't know if it's fucking guitar pro whatever <laughs> yeah, stuff that they use even to. real guitar player right now. it's just like yeah. this is, there is no, nothing yeah. there it's not, play, it's not play with personality yeah I, I, so well, that's, anyway. a, that's a problem with that's one of the negatives of the technology age is that it sterilizes a lot of music. And all, to me, all the best bands, no matter what style of music it is, the stuff that isn't, uh, isn't sterilized is, sounds like people are playing it. And even if it's not 100% perfect everywhere, it doesn't matter as long as it sounds good. It doesn't, everything doesn't have to be just square boxes next to each other. You know, it needs to be a vibe going on because you guys do you record like analog or how do you record your it's albums so analog, used to but now it's, it's nearly impossible now you know what I mean nobody has tape machines yeah. they do it's really expensive to yeah. buy but, tape but you can still record digitally yeah. and still not and get the yeah. warmth I mean, of the analog yeah. nowadays now that you got a good engineer that's you know been running digital long enough and and was doing analog for many many years he can he can recapture that that warmth of analog through digital yeah, yeah you, you don't have to you know the thing is with digital too you don't have to make everything perfect in digital i mean people just choose to I mean, over, because it's there yeah, you know over, oh there's a grid let's just fucking yeah, the we, grid instead of just we decide playing, to you know? just keep it you know real and try to keep uh-huh. it as real as possible yeah. Instead of um, you know trying to make everything too perfect, yeah. So I think that's that's one of the main qualities I think of death metal, like make it. Yeah, that you gotta it feel touches it. you. Feel, feel, it, feel, yeah, feel. You gotta fucking feel it. Basically. Just like when we're playing. I mean, I think if we were playing and we weren't feeling it, how the fuck are we gonna expect the, the people viewing it, watching it, to feel it? You know what I mean? Yeah, we have to be up there enjoying it. You know, it's not it. Yeah. It's not about being a talent show. It's about using your talent to create something good. You know. But it's not about trying to show everybody how great of a musician you are. It's about yeah. trying to show people how good, you know, how good you can make the song sound. Uh-huh. So I think incantation in that regard, they do the job perfectly. So anyway, let's continue. Uh, That's what? question number one. You got a whole fucking sheet there. No, I'm I'm kind of like I don't know. Right, just on, just thinking. On. Go with it. So what do you what do you think where we are now? What do you th- Spanish fans? Have you been in Spain before? Yeah, I think you've been. Yeah, we've been yeah, a we've bunch been of times in Spain. Yeah. We uh, even did just a Spain tour mm-hmm. one time. Yeah, yeah we played we played like about a week, week and a half in Spain. We yeah. did it was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah, Spanish people seem to enjoy yeah. what we do. You know, yeah. I mean, Spain's such a big country that it's different all over the place too. Uh-huh. Some places are more into it than other places. You know, but it was cool. it's cool. Um, you know, I, I'm expecting um, some metal maniacs here tonight. You know, I yeah, already see they're some. Here. So yeah, they're, they're here. They're here, yeah. <laughs> and it's still daylight. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but let's see. Let's talk about the new album. I don't know if I'm going to pronounce the name right. Dirt, Dirges. Dirges. Dirges, Dirges of, of Elysium. 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 So for me, this album is kind of like uh, like the Incantation punk punk rock album. Kind of? <laughs> no, no, no. Never heard that no one yet. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of like a little bit more to the point. 
also the the production I feel that is more uh, is it's cleaner than before. So for me, it was like an album that I heard like a couple of times that I got a lot out of it. With the yeah. previous ones, I don't know. I think they, I think there was a lot going on. Yeah. But I, I feel that this one it has like a lot of direct. Yeah. You just listen to it and it's like, oh. yeah, I, I really like it from that's the good, beginning. Right? That's what I mean with punk rock. Like, yeah. A little bit more. Right in your face. Right yeah. Like cleaner, not cleaner pop. A little bit more distinguishable. Yeah. yeah, yeah, more yeah, cleaner, and I think like the, the the compositions are more yeah to the point and yeah. easy to catch. Yeah. For well, maybe, for example, it would be maybe like an album that I recommend to somebody that or recommend me an incantation album, and I would say, oh, listen to this one because you're gonna get the. Yeah, right away. It's a gateway album. Uh huh. So many, so many albums are a little bit too um, maybe too. Too dirty wrong, or too raw yeah, for wrong, people to understand. A little too underground, maybe. Yeah, for, sometimes, for new sometimes if you give a, a new uh, person never heard us before, you give them an album that is too dirty and they won't understand it, it's better to give them something that's a little yeah. more distinguishable at first. And then they can kind of understand and go back in our catalog and hear some of the more... Especially the newer stuff. generation, the younger kids, <laughs> whose ears just aren't adjusted yet. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? The, I think, our old school ears, you know, and we can pick out, like, some of the dirty, muddy, you know, mm-hmm. production yeah, I think stuff, you need to, stuff we grew up uh, on and love, you know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah you need to have an ear bit. for death metal. I don't think it's everyone's... Um, it's not a uh, it's not a music that everyone can appreciate. Yeah, yeah. Even you know? if even if it's cleaner, ninety <laughs> percent of people will say, "Oh my god, yeah. stop it!" Yeah, they will not tell the difference between the first album and the yeah, last it's like same one, shit. You know? That's, it's like flamenco. Yeah, yeah flamenco. Yeah, I, I I remember this off topic. I remember when I started listening to death metal and all that. My mom walking into my room, and she walked into my room one day. She's like, "How many days have you been listening to this album?" <laughs> the same album all the time and I say no it's a different one every day like it sounds the fucking same I don't, I don't know what it was yeah. but maybe it was you guys yeah. because but, yeah people don't get those I guess little yeah, you, might, you might think that you have yeah. a mental problem or something yeah I think she was scared apple. but it's okay anyway so also another question is like your previous album uh, album uh Vanquish, Vanquish, Vanquish. To me, it was like not that you guys needed any kind of like extra energy because I think your career has been like up, never down. That album to me felt like wow, like huge. Yeah. It sounded huge. It sounded vicious, like yeah, a lot amazing. Of yeah. It, yeah. What happened? Anything happened at that point? Just Why? a couple of years between records. It all built up. You know, we were ready to explode. So we yeah, did. It was, it was a lot of, it's a good. It was just a, a good writing team on the album. You know, yeah. and just a good vibe. You know, we were just really inspired to go and kick some ass. Uh-huh. You know, and it just we had all the right people in the band to really do something great. Uh-huh. And it was just uh, one of those situations where it's just a documentation of the vibe in the band at the moment. You know, yeah. and that was a, a definite high point for the band, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Because to me, kind of coming back to Dirge is, is, is like that one was so kind of like demanding to, go. to listen to. Me cago en la puta. Sí, okay. Venga, venga. Adios, adios. <laughs> Continuamos. <laughs> anyway, it was so, so huge. Intentaré que no dure mucho, eh? It was so big that I felt like, oh, maybe you wanted to take it, take it from another route with the songwriting with this new one. Because I see a lot of differences. Like. Well, some of the songs on this album were written at the same time as Vanquish and Vengeance. Because uh-huh. uh, we had too many songs for Vanquish and Vengeance. We had to cut off a couple of them. But we just organ- tried to organize what songs work good together. Because each album needs to be its own thing. Even though it's the same band and there's a, a similar um, basis. Like a basis. A similar foundation. Each album has to be its own special identity. thing, identity, or else it's stupid to like put out Vanquish and Vengeance two or another album, a second version. You know. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. But. Each one's got to have its own personality. You know. And, and you know, we always have 
more than enough songs, you know, where just write and write, and yeah. then we pick and choose and, and see what makes the record. You know yeah, what I mean? we got because we're at practice or we're demoing the material. We try to listen to all the songs and see, okay, what you know, what songs work good together yeah. and what songs don't, or how to mix, you know, how to get the album in the right order. Because we had about 18 songs to choose from for the Dirge's album, and we picked out the songs that all you know made a vibe on the album you know and I think it worked out good and now we have a bunch of songs already that we have for the next album you know. that we just have to piece together and try to see if that puzzle fits together okay. properly so, you know Sounds and good. I'm sure by then we'll write a bunch more songs more, you know? <laughs> okay, I mean, that's yeah, good. we can't help it we just keep master, writing music he's the Tony Iommi of death battle over that's here good, uh, it's a whole band writes though <laughs> yeah. so that's the thing is that with everybody writing in the band there's just so much material because yeah. I mean I write a lot myself but everybody else writes a lot too so uh -huh. before you know it we have too much music yeah. and we don't want to we would rather make just good songs with the music and not add yeah. too many riffs into one song uh -huh. we just you know we don't say, okay, there's a lot of riffs it needs or a little bit of riffs. We just play the riffs that we feel work together. And, you know, it just, if it's a couple of riffs, that's fine. If it's a lot of riffs, that's fine too. As long as the song sounds good, we don't care, you know? There's no like one recipe, you know? Yeah, okay. Sometimes they'll just come in with one riff, we'll jam on that. Next thing you know, many more riffs spun off of that. And then we have a song, maybe two songs. Yeah, sometimes, you know yeah, I mean? sometimes it's one idea just. just you start yeah. playing, you know, we start working on it, one riff, and it just, ah, oh, fuck, you gotta do this and do that. And <laughs> well, we can't again. put all that in one song, so, oh, this one will be good on its own. Save that riff for this, and we'll feed off of that one so, later, and then... Yeah, <laughs> it's a good, it's, 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 a, good. it's a very yeah. fun vibe, because the inspiration is just there. It's like, we don't have to push it. It's just like, it's more almost like we have to um, contain it, because there's just so much, so much uh, inspiration going on that we sometimes have to try to focus in on just a few mm -hmm. things and try to document the other stuff, just leave it on the side for a while because, you know, we have, yeah. it's important to make sure that the album is, uh, you know, we do one good album's worth of material and not just do 20 halves of songs because we can write half the song and then wait but, sometimes. But that's crazy because uh, nowadays there are bands that release one album, the second one they kind of run out of ideas <laughs> and you still, you, you, you guys have that urge to and yeah, the creativity yeah. to be able but to I, pull... I mean, there's... I don't know exactly why overall, but I, to me, it, I, I get inspired when I'm working with other people that are inspiring to me, you know? And the people I'm working with, I'm inspired by, so it just naturally, I want to do stuff. You know, if uh, one day I, I don't feel inspired, then I guess we won't do another yeah. album, but... Yeah. Uh, we won't do an album just to do the album. If we're going to do the album, we have to be inspired yeah. by something that we could stand behind. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah, that's good, yeah. My only complaint about the new album. Yep. Not enough pinch harmonics. No? What the fuck happened? I agree. I suck in that. Yeah. yeah you Not know enough. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sick of the pinch <laughs> harmonics. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Are you? No, really? no, no. It's, not. it's a, it was I just. It, it's probably just a. It's the fluke. Okay. Yeah, I don't really think about it, you know? It's not something that I, I love really, them, love you know. them. Yeah, it's, yeah. I agree. I never even realized that. I never thought about it, but... I think right. there is... I don't remember the name of the song, but there is one that has, yeah. I think. It's yeah, cool. one, well, one in the beginning of... Uh, what's it? Um, what's it set? first song on side two I can't remember the name of it now Mortal yeah, Consecration yeah. I think so yeah yeah the it's second the half yeah. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's actually a little bit of an older song that's one that we uh -huh. had yeah. uh, written years ago yeah it was, <laughs> what three three of the songs or two two songs yeah. are older from the Vanquished era uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Forget. Well, that's my only complaint. Oh. The rest is fine. All right, so well, on the next album, we'll put we'll put extra of extra money. Okay. Yeah, just bonus, bonus album. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait, 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 wait. So let's see. <laughs> One thing that I love also about Incantation is the uh, the album titles and the song titles and all that stuff. Like Emaciated, Holy Figure, Kristen in the Afterbirth. Like, where do you get this? <laughs> like, Mortal Throne of the Nazarene. Like, it's just, it's the right words put together. I don't think about the meaning. I just think about the, the words. The good, words, right? the yeah, words. Yeah. Even like, Ipex Moon. Yeah, nice. No, it's, it's good. What the fuck, a goat? A, a, a moon with a goat face? 
It's just I just read the, the name and I, and I love it because it's like it makes me think. It makes yeah. me. It's very. Well, I've always <laughs> kind of tried to look for words that really work well together and kind of describe the like unrelenting aggression and brutality, you know. And uh, it, I think it's good. I think it's good to not have it, everything so. Um, always black and white like sometimes it's good to have a song a simple song title but then it's also good to have something that's really like extravagant make sounds really big I mean that was really uh, our influences with bands like Celtic Frost and um, Boy Bod and stuff like that really had a lot of really interesting song titles and just that kind of that kind of um, vibe has always kind of stayed in the band lyrically you know with that kind of just Ab- abstract, but also uh, very powerful, you know, powerful abstract. It's just fitting with the band. The music alone is different than, especially back in the days, you know, and it still is, you know, different than most bands, and we tried to do that with the artwork, you know what I mean, having, having the same artist do the abstract work, you know, so just the whole identity of the mm-hmm. band is just kind of like that, you know what I mean, we just always tried to keep that, you know. Uh-huh. Of course, you veer off a little here and there, you know. But yeah, you, everyone, you know, sometimes it's good just to have a simple song title mixed in with all the uh, crazy ones. I mean, you know what yeah, 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 we just, wanted to go that simple time, that time. It was like, uh-huh. you know what? Yeah. Fuck everybody. You know, you know right? Let's just throw a fuck curveball in there, uh-huh. you know, and uh, <laughs> just straight up fucking. And uh, it, it worked. Uh, it's like it's a fucking strong word within itself, you know. But blasphemy is already yeah. powerful uh, enough. You know. But there are so many titles, like. Yeah. Which one is from a glacier room? From a glacier room. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know. Just, <laughs> well, we're really... Uh, with, uh, yeah, no. with having Chuck uh, Sherwood play with us, uh-huh. besides being an amazing <laughs> bass player, he's like... He writes the lyrics, yeah, right? He yeah, writes most of the lyrics. Uh-huh. And he... Yeah, I mean, he follows a lot of, like, ancient history yeah. and stuff. Uh-huh. So it's, it's really unbelievable the amount of knowledge this guy has on stuff. And it really helps with the... Uh, the lyrics coming up with fresh new ideas that are interesting, you know, yeah. because a lot of stories. <coughs> yeah, because I, you know, er, a lot of earlier stuff was um, written by Craig Pillard vocals, mm-hmm. and then after he left, I wrote a lot of lyrics for the songs. Um, and then George, um, after a while, um, Kyle contributed a little bit, and also Joey contributed yeah. a lot. Joey Lombard, Joey. and then. Um, but now Chuck has such a wealth of information that yeah. I'll write like one or two songs and he'll, he'll have everything else covered, you know? Yeah. But it's better that way because for me, the songs I write could, could mean a little more than not have to scramble around like crazy to try yeah. to... Because it's sometimes hard to find um, new ways to be blossoming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and now... He's this, not stopped, man. This is my next question. Another thing that I like about the incantation is that the lyrics, even though they're blasphemous and all that, they're, they're not, uh, how do I say, direct. It's oh, kind yeah. of like a poetic way of saying it's, something blasphemous. It's, yeah, it's like, it's different. It's the abstract. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's different. It's a lot different than a band like Deicide, where it's very straightforward, you know. You, mm-hmm. There's no no questioning what Deicide's lyrics are. You know? Yeah, it's, no. it's, it's, It says what he means, and that's fine. <laughs> but we go a different route. We yeah. like to be a little more poetic about it, you know, because... You know, there's a lot of bands out there that that are very straightforward in the blasphemous kind of stuff, and that's good. But you know, we just felt like it would be cool to do it in our own way to make it more um, a little more epic, mm-hmm. a little more interesting to us. Yeah. We, we don't need to um, follow the you know those are other people's path. It's a more yeah, simple yeah. blasphemy, and, and, and some of the simple blasphemous stuff is fun to listen to because uh-huh. it's just kind of like it's just like oh yeah, okay, Christ sucks, you know, uh-huh. that's good, you know. But I like to, I like to have that more epic vibe to it. I think it's really um, influenced by the early Celtic Frost, but especially to make a Theron type lyrics where they're very poetic and stuff, but also very uh, you know powerful. He says that now until he's got to try to pronounce some of Chuck's words. Oh <laughs> my yeah. god! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Imagine that I need to sing an incantation <laughs> yeah. and sing yeah. all those lyrics. Oh, there's certain words in there that there's no there's no there's no. Um, definitive pronunciation for that Chuck comes up with because they're so old 
that no one's really no one talks tr- and no one speaks, no one speaks the language anymore. Like, so we have to try really hard to, uh-huh. to, to kind of go with how we think it's pronounced. Uh-huh. But yeah, it's funny because sometimes I have to double check and make sure. Like, am I pronouncing this word right? I don't, I'm not sure, 100. percent We'll Google it, translation, yeah. listen to it. You know, I, see how they yeah, say it. Yeah, or you know, I have to like, call up Chuck and be like. How's this pronounced? This word? <laughs> like what? Can you think about anything? No, uh, like something. I can't think of it now. But there was, it was pretty funny because because he wasn't able to make it for some of the vocal session, you know. And a couple of these words, I'm like, hmm, I'm What's not. The song I'm, with that patheness. And yeah, patripus and. Uh, <laughs> but what? It's, I think it's patripus. Patripus and. Um, <laughs> Per, per, perculus, yeah. perculus, patripus, and there's one other one I can't think of right now. And I wasn't sure if I was pronouncing it right, you know. So I had to double check, make sure, you know. And Chuck told me that there's no, there's no, like, it's a word that's used so long ago that there's no actual uh-huh. proper pronunciation. And it's in, it's, it was in a, um, we would call it. Um, I, yeah, I think it was Greek mythology, you know. So it's, it was, uh, there's not really a good U.S. you know Amer- English uh-huh, translation uh-huh. of the word. So I, I just have to try to pronounce it the best way possible. Anyway, that's what they say. At least try, right? <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do? I mean, I can't. I can't go back in time and ask, um, you know, someone from the, the Greek Empire <laughs> yeah, back in. Yeah, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> so let me see another question that I think. So you guys. What's your opinion about religion, you guys? Oh, we love religion. It's the best. Yeah. Do you think? <laughs> do you think? So records. I'm I'm, 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 I'm. I'm not a big fan myself. But do you think that things have gone, for, the, have changed for the better, or now are much much worse? Like with like the church, like all these rules and regulations. That I don't know if it's worse or not. I mean, it's been fucked forever. You know, since the beginning of time. Yeah, it's um, you religion. Fill that kid real quick. <laughs> you gotta film that little kid head banging, man. Yeah. Sagal, <laughs> sagal. Incantation fans. Three, four year old. That's it, that's it. He's cursed. Yes. Cursed. That's what we need. Poor kid, poor kid. But um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's well. The thing is, there's so much um, religion has been fucked for so long. I mean, it's been taken away from the um, belief aspect of it. But it turns more political, you know. If you look at the, especially uh, like Islamic religions now, it's like they're so fucked up that they won't they won't progress naturally because of their religion. So that's it's really. Um, It's ridiculous for these people to live in like the 1400s um, in 2014. It's ridiculous, you know. So religion and a lot of a lot of people take it so far that they don't even progress as human beings or follow their natural instincts, you know. So I think in general, it's you know it obviously sucks, but um, you know at the same time, if somebody wants to be um, religious it's fine as long as they keep it to themselves i don't care you know yeah. i just don't like it when it starts restri- restricting put it into yeah put it into, try put it in your hand yeah uh, whatever it moves, it. So yeah that kind of stuff is the problem who gives a fuck if someone believes in religion or not it doesn't bother me really unless it, it you know yeah, unless it, it, it affects us unless it's directly or against another. us you know or Um, it turns into like a law of the land or something. That's bad, you know. That's why a lot of the Muslim countries are so fucked up because they follow a Sharia law, which is law of their religion. And these laws that they have in religion are like, you know, what, 2,000 years old or 1,500 years old. So it's like, you know, they're not, they're, they're living in the past. They're not living in the future now, you know. Yeah, yeah. The human nature is to move towards the future and to uh, utilize the, the future to make your life better. So, nobody here, I guess, is a big fan anyway, so I, I just wanted want to, to double check. Yeah, we didn't want to offend anybody. If <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <can help. laughs> yeah, go forbid that. No, no, sir, I don't want to offend, but I'm not a, I'm not a fan either, so. Yeah, we try not, you know, 
we try to make it really clear in our lyrics that we're not trying to offend anybody. We, we, we absolutely hate Christ and all the other religions, you know, but we're not trying to necessarily say that religion sucks. We're just saying we really, really hate religion mm-hmm. and that uh, you probably should too. But, but if you don't you, have to. But maybe if you follow it, you don't suck. <laughs> only, only what you... <laughs> anyway, let's, let's forget no, no, about this. Wait, wait. I think the, the way it is, though, is... See, my religion is good. Uh-huh. Everybody else's sucks. Uh-huh. That's the way. Uh-huh. It That's is. the best part ever. <laughs> <laughs> my God, so my religion's uh-huh. awesome. I know you all worship everybody, my religion. Everybody, yeah. If you don't believe what I believe, then you're a fucking asshole. Yeah. You know. <laughs> That's, everybody thinks like that, right? Yeah. yeah. There's nothing weird about it. <laughs> anyway, I have a very nice guy here helping me be behind the camera, so I'm gonna just try to try to finish. Okay. Try to finish with a, a couple of things. If you could choose one quality from the old school death metal scene when it started, one good thing that you like from those days, and another good thing from the present. If you could get one from the past that, that doesn't exist now, and one from now <laughs> that didn't exist, what would you choose? What went away? Well, yeah, the, old, the I guess the thing that is good about the old the old uh, scene, uh, one was that it was new and it was fresh. Mm-hmm. And when we came out with stuff, it was like, even though death metal was around, there wasn't many death, there wasn't really any death metal bands that sounded like us necessarily. So it's nice to come up with an album that is totally different than what everybody else is doing. And, um, you know, kind of shock people like that mm-hmm. and now you know we've been doing it for 25 years so even though we we are um, you know we're still doing new stuff in our music it's like you can't shock the same way you shocked that first time when it, nothing was around like what we did you know I mean before us there were bands obviously like death and stuff like that but they weren't we were different we were like the next step or the next five steps further you know now Um, would you would you put the internet in the late 80s? Yeah, the internet. Uh, would you like to have internet no, back then? No, no. I like internet now. No, I think I think <laughs> some of the, what made the music seem special then was the fact that there was no internet, yep. so you had to work harder for your metal. You know, you like I I would have to go to the record store every week drive to like three or four record stores in my area and look for the new releases actually I had to physically get out and go somewhere to get music I had to drive from Leon <laughs> yeah. to Madrid three hours ago with my parents to the old Repulse records <laughs> yeah which were I think were the ones that released uh, the Forsaken Morning yeah, yeah Forsaken and that's the first one that I got yeah that's a crazy no song <laughs> it's dying <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> This is a stupid. <laughs> what the? Well, fuck? you're running your mouth. That's what happens. <laughs> anyway, do you want to finish with this question? Okay. At least with uh, yeah. I, I with the audio, you know, the intimate of the old underground, and I don't know from today. I don't know what to match it with. I mean, as far as like today's stuff, that's good. Is I don't know. Um, <laughs> The fact that we're still alive and doing it. Yeah, it's hard to say. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. About, I mean, there's not nothing wrong with the, the way things are now, but it's just different. I mean, it's good. The access of the Internet is good as far as quick. It's Everything's quicker to work out, uh-huh. but at the same time, it's bad because it dilutes everything a lot, uh-huh. too. I think it's, it's too many things happening. It's like, yeah. it's a lot of bands, but... It's still, you need to dig for the good ones. It's yeah. a lot of. Yeah. It'd probably be tough starting a new band yeah, now, nowadays with as many that you know is out there. I can see a good band getting lost in there, but it seems like if you really got something good, it'll stand out. You yeah. know what I mean? It's still good word of mouth, mm-hmm. I think, and it gets you around. All right, and the last thing that I want to say, I love these guys drumming. <laughs> What oh, do yeah. you think? 
Do you think he's a good drummer? Well, we, we, we try to work with him the best we can, you know? Oh we work we work, we work, work towards trying to make him sound good. Uh-huh. So, if you like his drumming, I it's like you're, his you're drumming. thanking me almost. Oh, I'm I like just a joke. Thank, thank you for his time. <laughs> it tried to get rid of me so many times. That's why I was gone so many times. It kicks me no, out. No, it keeps telling then, me to leave, and I just no, keep coming I, back. I, I, I love keep, the way you play. I keep telling him, just when you learn how to play drums, you can come back. <laughs> and then he tells me, I learned. And he comes back, and then he lied to me. Yeah, I lied. And then he can't get rid of me, you know? <laughs> so I was like, all right, do another record. Maybe you'll oh, learn okay. on that one. It's good to see that finally you trying. fucking learn how to play for us <laughs> after, I don't know, 20 years. So congratulations, David. Yeah, no, as of recently, he's been doing pretty good. So I'm uh, pretty happy with well, it. Well, let's see. Finally. Let's, let's see tonight what yeah. he right, does. Now, oh, fuck yeah, now, like a purpose. I'm going to throw a stick at you. All right. <laughs> so anyway, I had a couple of questions, but I think there's already 35 minutes. Okay. So yeah, people will be bored of the yeah, I'm this poor guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. You have to buy Anyway, so thank you, <laughs> Kyle. Thank you yeah. so much. A pleasure. Thank yeah, you, thank John. You thank you for your <laughs> time. You. Yeah, and I hope thank you. the rest of the the rest Cheers. of the tour is sold out. Yeah. And yeah, now and now I'm gonna show you the guy that has been helping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if our, all our shows don't get sold out, we don't even play. If, yeah. If uh-huh. not, the show's not sold out, we say okay, we're going home. Yeah. Actually, we got paid for tonight. Already, we could just. Oh, okay, we'll just leave then. Okay, yeah. I, I don't think good. these guys that's, will that's the way we give do a fuck. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's for other so, bands, they won't yeah, know we yeah. didn't play because it'll be like three o'clock in the morning when we're supposed to play. Uh, Centurion, they're okay, they're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I can watch them live, so, uh, yeah. No, no, but they're fucking good. <laughs> yeah, good, I'll check them out. <laughs> all right, guys, doing interviews all night, maybe we'll be able to watch them. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's cut it. <laughs> <laughs> And out! <laughs> Thank you for listening and buy the new incantation album and all the all the releases and support these two guys. Yeah. John yeah. and Kyle. Thank you. Yeah. And you can talk about the Fernando. If Fernando. <laughs> Thank you, see you in LA. <laughs>